What's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys one of the biggest and probably, I don't even know how to explain this pack, but probably one of the best vehicle packs that I've ever seen in Unturned. This is absolutely amazing and I couldn't imagine how long it took to make all of these separate things. There's tanks, there's helicopters, there's a jetpack, there's a quadcopter, there's all types of stuff and it's really crazy. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. Now the mod that we're going to be looking at today is called Arthur's Vehicle Pack, and it's made by a guy named Arthur S. So Arthur S is a friend of mine, he's on my friends list, and he's been very generous and allowed me to review this mod three days before it comes out. So in three days, this mod will be released. Now I'm not entirely sure how long it'll be till I upload this, but from the time of my recording, this mod will be released in three days. But I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description below. Most likely I'll post it before those three days, and if I do, just go ahead and click the link and you can be one of the first people to try it out. So as you guys may be able to tell, three of these helicopters look extremely familiar. And the reason why is because maybe like a month or a month and a half ago, whenever the helicopters came out and unturned, Arthur S was like the first guy to make helicopters, and it was just called Arthur's Military Pack with just simply these three helicopters in it. So he took those three helicopters and basically saved them, and now he's added many, many more things. Now I really couldn't imagine how long this took to make, but I'm going to go ahead and get into the video guys, I'm sorry for all the, you know, pointless explaining and stuff. I'm just going to go down the list one by one and show off every single vehicle, and then I'm going to probably fly and drive some of them around once I show them all off. Now, I'm definitely not going to drive all of them, just because, holy crap, that would take forever and this video would be like 30 minutes long. So I'm only going to do like one of each kind, not every color, just like one of these, one of those, one of those, and then I'm going to show off the really unique ones. So we're going to go ahead and get into this with the first vehicle. So the first three helicopters are called the Tigers. The first one is the Arctic Tiger with an ID of 1600, the second one is a Forest Tiger with an ID of 1601, and the third one is a Desert Tiger with an ID of 1602. Now one thing that I like about all three of these helicopters is the fact that it has a two-tiered level. So for example, the passenger sits above the pilot in all three of these helicopters. Now unlike other mod showcases, I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing off details that you guys can see for yourselves. So if you want to see these, just go ahead and download the mod. But now, we're going to go ahead and get into the driver's seat and show you guys what these helicopters fly like. Okay guys, so I'm here in the helicopter and I'm just going to simply fly it around a little bit just to show you guys what it sounds like and how it handles. So straight off the bat, you can probably tell that it sounds like a regular helicopter. Now a lot of mods recently have been trying to do these custom sounds and they couldn't really pull it off. See, I'd simply rather have regular sounds that sound good than a bunch of like custom stuff that sounds pretty bad. But I really like the sound of it, it's just a regular helicopter sound, and it seems to handle pretty well. The only problem that I can see is that it turns a little bit slow, and it's a little bit slow taking off and landing. But other than that, it's a pretty nice helicopter, and as I said before, the only complaint that I have is the fact that it turns extremely slow. The next thing that we're going to be looking at are the transport copters. Now the first copter is called the Desert Copter, and it has an ID of 1603, and the second copter is called the Forest Copter, and it has an ID of 1604. So now we're just going to take a simple, closer look at these things. They're basically just regular old transport helicopters. Uh, please don't get me wrong on my facts, I'm not exactly the best fact person in the world. But from what I can tell, these seem like the helicopters that would carry troops, and then as you fly over, the troops would jump out with a rope, and then land on wherever they want to go. So, I think that's what these are meant to be, but I'm not entirely sure because, you know, as I said, I'm not exactly the best fact person. So we're going to go ahead and get inside, see how they sound, see how they fly, and just see how they are in general. So let's go ahead and get in, and uh, let's see exactly how these things fly. So, takeoff sounds exactly the same as a regular helicopter. And from what I can tell, the sounds are pretty much exactly the same as a regular helicopter. Now, I definitely have to say, these look really cool in the air. They just like, I don't really know how to explain it, but they just look super realistic military-ish. That makes so much sense, but we're just going to go ahead and fly this thing. And first of all, let's start this out by seeing how fast we can go. So, this thing appears to fly about almost 77, 78, let's just say for a safe number, 80 kilometers per hour, which seems to be pretty fast. I'll put the translation into miles per hour on the screen right now. Handling wise, it seems to handle pretty much just like the last helicopter, uh, but it seems a little bit easier to turn than the last one. So for a comparison, I would have to compare this to just like the regular old helicopter that's in vanilla unturned, like the regular old military helicopter. Pretty much that's basically how this thing handles. Overall, I have to say that I like this one a lot better than the previous ones, even though a lot of people probably like the previous ones better. I don't know, I just like this one better. It seems a little bit cleaner and more realistic looking. Uh, but guys, that is the second helicopters, and now we're going to move on to the next vehicle. 
And the next vehicle is my favorite out of all of these, and I have to say that it looks pretty dang awesome. And what we're talking about now is called the Stealth Tank, and this tank has an ID of 1605. Now, as I said, I'm not exactly the best fact person in the world, considering basically every fact that I ever say is wrong, but this time, guys, I know I'm gonna be doing good. The fact that I'm actually gonna legit prove right this time is what this tank is supposed to be a replica of. So, drumroll please, I actually got this fact from the internet and I looked up stuff before the video. This is the Polish PL-01 tank. This is a real thing, this is a replica of a real thing, and I'm pretty sure that I'm right because the internet said I was right, so if I'm wrong please let me know in the comments, but please, hopefully I'm not wrong because I actually want to get something right for once. So now we're just going to do a quick little walk around just to show you guys what the tank looks like, and then of course we're going to drive it and show you how fast it is. So here it is guys, here's the tank in all of its glory, and from what I can tell this is a very accurate replica of the P, what was it again? Of the PL-01. It actually looks pretty dang similar, and I think it's actually pretty nice looking. I couldn't imagine how long it took to make this because, as I said, it's pretty dang accurate. So here's the outside, and now we're gonna go ahead and get into the inside. So here it is, there's two little computer screens, and then there's like some ammo, a fire extinguisher, and uh, that's about it. But one thing that I have to complain about is the fact that this tank is pretty much impossible to drive from the inside. I mean, you can try, but the chances are that you're just gonna like run over into the ocean or something. Uh, but trust me guys, these screens uh, are gonna be pretty cool with some of the other tanks we're showing off. It's gonna be really awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and drive this thing, see how fast it goes and stuff like that. So. Uh, let's see how fast it gets to top speed. It, it seems like it gets to top speed pretty fast, maybe like 2 seconds or so. 0 to 60 in 2 seconds, that seems pretty dang fast for a tank. So it seems like the top speed is about 60 kilometers per hour, and uh... Oh crap. Well, it appears I'm stuck. Uh, but if you guys are wondering why there's another tank there, I tried this before, and for some reason the zombies are made out of steel, so they just got me stuck on everything, and then I had to restart this multiple times. But I mean, you guys have pretty much seen everything. It goes 60 miles per hour, it has three seats, and it looks pretty awesome. And next up, we have three more tanks, and these ones are called the M1 Abrams. So the first one is the Arctic M1 Abram, and this one has an ID of 1606. The second one is the Forest Edition, and this one has an ID of 1607. And finally, we have the Desert Edition with an ID of 1608. So here's the Abram, guys. I really like the look of it, and it's kind of just like a clean, modern style, I guess, look. I don't know. I think it looks really nice, though, and I really like the look of the wheels on the bottom. And no, I know you guys think I'm stupid after all the other stuff I've said, but I know these things have tracks. I'm just talking about the little wheels inside of the track. Okay, so we're just going to get inside this tank, drive it around, see how it handles, see how fast it goes, and stuff like that. Now that we're inside, you guys can see what it looks like. Again, it has two screens. Looks like a little machine gun over there. There's some like levers and crap, and then there's some ammo and some other stuff going on back there, but that's not too important because again, you're not gonna be spending too much time driving from the inside considering that you cannot see anything. So we're gonna go ahead and drive this thing, see how fast it goes and stuff like that. My guess is that it's pretty similar to the previous one with just like a 60 mile per hour top speed. And it appears that that's what it is. Now I really like the way this thing turns. I love the way the gun turns whenever you drive. Out of all the things that have to do with the tanks in this mod, I think that's probably the simplest, but it also kind of like makes it feel complete, because if it didn't do that, this mod definitely wouldn't feel complete. Now to you guys, it might seem like I'm rushing through all these mods, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to like not waste too much time on boring, pointless stuff, just so I can keep your guys' attention a little bit longer. By the way, if you guys are still watching right now, please let me know in the comments below. But now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next vehicle. And next up, we have something pretty awesome, and that is a military jetpack. Yes, a flyable military jetpack. So guys, this is literally a flyable jetpack. And basically, from what I can tell, it kind of looks like an Alice pack. Uh, here's my Alice pack right here. It kind of looks like an Alice pack a little bit, uh, but a little bit bigger and stuff. And obviously, this one is flyable. So this is definitely pretty cool. I'm definitely excited to fly this, considering that I haven't even tried it yet. Uh, but if you want to spawn this thing in, the ID for this is 1609. So let's go ahead and hop inside, see what it sounds like, see what it flies like, and let's go. So let's hop in. Oh, that is... that sounds cool. Sounds like... Oh, that is cool. It actually has fire coming out the back of it. Are you kidding me? Holy crap, guys. It literally has fire coming out of the back of it. This is crazy, and it kind of sounds like a realistic jetpack, even though jetpacks don't exist. But, I mean, if they did, I feel like this is what they'd sound like. But like legit, could you guys imagine having one of these in multiplayer and like flying it around the map and raiding and shooting people on this thing? You know how amazing that would be? That would by far be the coolest thing ever. I'm actually considering adding this mod pack to my server just because of all the cool stuff in here and probably just alone for the jetpacks because they're so cool. I mean, it's so amazing. I really feel like I could spend a long time talking about this, but I mean, I don't really have a long time right now. 
But I really like this thing, and I think my opinion has changed. I think this is my new favorite thing in this mod pack. Just, guys, this is so cool. Look how cool that is. It's so amazing. And next up, we have some military Humvees. So the IDs for these are the following. For the Forest Humvee, the ID is 1610, and for the Desert Humvee, the ID is 1611. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the Hummers, and the reason why is just because they're a fairly simple vehicle. So here they are, guys, you can see them, and really all I have to say is that they have four seats, and the top speed is about 50 kilometers per hour. Now, next up should be a military transport plane, but that's just going to be one of the surprises that you see if you download the mod, just because, you know, I really don't feel like showing every single little detail off. And there's another thing that I really want to show off, and I don't want to waste too much time on this. And now we have a really cool vehicle called the Viper, and the ID for the Viper is 1613. Now this Viper thing here is pretty bad looking. Now, I don't mean bad in a bad way, I mean the good bad, you know what I'm saying, like the, the good bad. But look how cool this thing is! It has like machine guns on the front, it has missiles on the side. I don't know if there's any such thing as a real military vehicle like this. My guess is that there's completely not, because this is way too cool to be in real life. This is definitely a video game thing. Heck, but maybe there is, and I just don't know. Uh, but this is pretty much just like a retextured helicopter. It kind of looks like a vertibird from Fallout. I'm sure you guys probably know what those are. It kind of looks like that. It's pretty similar, but this thing is definitely a lot more stealthy and bad looking. I mean, you know, as I said, not the bad bad, but the good bad. So the inside's fairly simple, and there's only one seat. Now, the only one complaint that I have about this is the fact that the sounds, are, again, are kind of regular and vanilla slash boring. But one thing that makes up for that is the fact that there's two spinning blades that look really good. I don't really know how to explain it, but they look really good, guys. I don't know, I just really love this vehicle, and I look forward to using this in my server, just like seeing people's reactions whenever I fly around with this thing. So we're going to go ahead and take off, and uh, we're going to see how fast this thing goes. My guess is it's about 80, uh, that's what it seems. It appears that it's 80, and it's pretty much just like a regular retextured helicopter, but I mean, you cannot say that this is ugly. This is by far the coolest looking thing ever, ever that I've ever seen in a mod. The coolest looking vehicle that I've ever seen in a mod. I just really want to fly this around my server and see what people have to say about it. But, I mean, guys, look how cool this is. I don't know how many times I have to say that, or how many times I've said that in this video, but I really like this, guys. This is really cool, and I, props to you, Arthur S., for making such an awesome vehicle. So, if you guys have watched the entire video to this point, you're in for a little bit of a treat, because I'm sure you guys remember the M1 Abrams, and whenever you hop inside, you'll notice these little blank screens here. It's like, what's the point of the stupid blank screens? Well, as I said before, the tank blank screens are not pointless. Now, there are other models of the Abrams, and the IDs for these are 1614, 1615, and 1616, depending on what color you want. Now, I'm not going to make this little aspect as fancy, just because thank you for watching this part, and there's no need for all this fancy editing. So, for example, if I were to... What is with the reflections? They're weird. So, if I were to get into the new version of the tank, look how insane this is. So, if I hop inside... Look at that, guys. It has moving cameras that move whenever you move. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't even know how you managed to do that in this game, but look at this, guys. This is so cool. It's like, literally, cameras inside of a moving vehicle that actually update to where you're at. I don't know how you do it, Arthur. I don't know how you managed to do this stuff. I couldn't imagine how long it takes you, but this is... This is just amazing to me. I don't understand how you're able to do this in the game. I mean, I, pretty much anything's possible when it comes to coding, which I don't really think you do coding in a mod, but trust me, guys, I don't know. This is just so cool. You can literally just, like, drive around the server and just run over people with this awesome camera angle. Ugh, it's so awesome. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and be sure to download the mod. It will be linked in the description below. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.